I just wanted to pop on here real quick and give a little update to my sheer text review that I did of the unbreakable tights that literally snagged the second I put them on. So if you haven't seen that review, go watch it here and then come back to this video because this is like part two. I sent them an email with a picture of the tights like, hey look, they got this snag in them. I just got them, they're brand new. I also had to send them a full length picture of the tights, I guess to prove that they were their tights. So I took a picture of the whole thing and sent that over and then I received a second email and they offered to replace the tights, no big deal still into their guarantee. The downfall is you have to cut them up. I don't know, like this feels a little bit wasteful to me, but like I can understand they don't want people saying like, oh, my tide snagged and then getting a free pair, but cutting them up to make them unwearable, it just feels like a lot to me. Now they also offered a 30% discount code for your next order. Since the snag's not that bad, I could still technically wear them. So if I wanted to keep them, then I could, and they would just get, send me a discount code. These were so much money. I really wanted them replaced. So that was the option I chose. They said I had two weeks from the time I had sent them the email to cut them up. There's a very specific way you have to cut them. And then you also have to write on a piece of paper your order number and the date and send a picture of all of that. And then I guess they'll ship you a new one. There's a very specific way you have to cut them up and it is up to crotch like this. And that is exactly how you have to cut them. You cannot cut them any other way. All right. The tights are in two separate pieces. I'm going to write my order number and the date. What is today? It is the, it is, October 29th. So now I am going to snap a photo of that real quick. So I'm gonna email that back to them and then we'll see and go from there, see what happens. I cut the tights in half, I did the paper, I sent the picture and I wanted a new pair, I wanted a replacement. And they emailed me back and the pair I had ordered was out of stock. So I felt like I had cut up my tights for no reason. I was pretty upset. They said they would give my account a credit for the exact amount so when they came back in stock, I could buy them again. At this point in time, like I wasn't interested in doing that. I'm not gonna stock their website waiting for the specific tags that I like to come back in stock. So I emailed them back and I'm like, I'll just take a refund at this point. Like you would think a company that has like a guarantee, maybe their items go out of stock on the website but they would still keep a few in stock, like in the back, behind the scenes, in case people needed to exchange their orders or something went wrong. So they email me back, like days are going by here. They email me back and they say, we can offer you a different product that you like on the website. So now I'm like even more irritated because I'm out the tights and currently out my money. So then I get an email back that they refunded me. And when I go and look at the refund, they forgot to refund me the sales tax and it's short. It's not the full refund. I thought like it wasn't shipping and I'm like, okay, well I should definitely get the sales tax back, right? Why didn't I get the sales tax back? I sent another email saying I received the refund but it wasn't the full refund. And then a few days went by, crickets. And they finally refund me the sales tax and I finally got all my money back. Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna purchase from them again. And yeah, if you've had a better experience with this company, please let me know because mine wasn't, I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it also could have been better. I took the money I got from the refund and I bought a pair of Spanx. So look out for those on a test at Tuesday. Never had Spanx before and I got the patent leather ones. So should be interesting. <laughs> Okay, well, that's all I got for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I know it's hard to understand tone in an email. Like, I'm sure it's just all in my head. But the tones in the email, they just came off wrong to me. It wasn't the vibe.